Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to create this nice spotlight effect on a website where we have this nice background image and then we can kind of trace the spotlight around on the image and we can start zooming in on people or like parts of the image and so forth. So yeah, let's get into it. So here we are, we have like the basic style, like the basic HTML and some some JavaScript to do the actual tracing of the mouse and here's our styling and as you can see here it's fairly simple like fairly straightforward the body has a background image which we use which we cover and then we set the height of the body to 100% view height so that there is a height without because without content uh, there would be no image like there has to be a content otherwise the the browser won't set a height on the body and then we set cursor to none because we don't want to show the cursor and then we have this spotlight element which we set to position absolute and then we do top left so that it's just you know it's at the top left of our screen and then we set the height and the width to 100 percent so it covers the whole thing right and then we the, the, this is the part that is magical so we set the background image to be a radial gradient of the in the shape of a circle and then we simply say that it's going to start like the innermost part of the circle is going to start as a transparent rate gradient basically and it's going to be 100% uh, 100 pixels in dimensions and then we simply from that point on we kind of we create this nice uh, trend we, we simply ha use our the opacity of the color black to create this out outwards graying effect and that's just going to stretch to 160 pixels so what's that's the, this effect you see here where the center of the circle is actually very bright and then it kind of fades out very slowly in the edges edges right so how are we achieving this effect well we're achieving this effect by simply saying that all right we're going to grab the spotlight and then we're going to use a string to set the spotlight size and we're going to see as you saw earlier we're simply going to say that the spotlight is going to be transparent 100 pixels and have an RGB a, a value with an opacity of 0.85 uh, up to 100, uh, 160 pixels right so then we add an event listener so that when we move the mouse we simply update the spotlight and this function is it's fairly straightforward all it's doing is that it's grabbing the page x axis and dividing it by the inner width times 100 so that we get the x, like the x position and then we do the same thing for the y position and then we simply grab the spotlight the spotlight element sets this and we set the background image to well basically those values and that's all we're doing so we're just moving this gradient around on the page that's that that's all that's happening and when we do mouse down we simply focus like we intensify the uh, we, we, we simply shrink the, the, the circle as you can see here and then we kind of up the transparency a little bit in the edges and the same thing goes like for mouse up we simply reset it back and and that's basically it and yeah like if we have a look at our developers tools here we can see how this this effect actually works so if I highlight this element here, you can see that we've set this style, st uh, we've put this this background image uh, uh, style on the element itself. And as I move around here, you can see that it's actually updating in real time the position of the background image. So well, you see that like the the entire background is this black part with this little transparent circle, and we're simply moving it around as it's on top of the body itself. And yeah, that's that's basically how you can achieve this kind of cool spotlight effect. And yeah, I hope you found this useful and have a great day.